Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the second episode of the day, the second quick hit. Uh, we bring you quick hits twice a day, just real quick, eight to ten minutes uh, per show, twice a day, uh, just to keep you up to date, give you all the information that you need. So if that's the kind of content that you're looking for, want to be kept up to date on the world of boxing and know exactly what's going on, please hit the like and subscribe button, like and subscribe, follow us. Um, on all forms of social media, that's 3D Boxing and 3D Boxing Blog, and please share us once again. Um, <clears throat> we actually had a pretty entertaining night of boxing. I don't know how many y'all watched the show box card, but it looked like the boxing heads were out watching it today. Um, and, and that's what we're going to cover. We're going to uh, recover the, <laughs> the, the national treasure. That is Janelson Figueroa uh, Boca Chica. Um, and that's going to be a name that hopefully you learn because you probably will be hearing it again. He got the uh, majority decision victory. Yeah, majority decision victory. I thought he probably deserved it. It was really close fight. Um, but that name, Janelson Figueroa Boca Chica, just isn't catchy as can be. This guy is also a treasure. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what he said, but go back. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Mark Ray is it slipped and fell a few times on his knees and in the middle of the sixth round. Um, Boca Chica says something to him when he gets up. Let's go back and listen to it. Boca Chica is uh, trash talking and, 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 and bantering with them the entire fight. Um, the hair, the personality, the style, he's fan friendly. This guy is going to have an appeal. Uh, how, how high is his ceiling? I, I don't know. I, I don't know, right? Is he going to be a world champion? I don't know. Is he going to be a top 10 guy? I don't know. Is he going to... Uh, Fade into oblivion like Nico Micaias, who was just a flash in the pan who people liked watching, uh, and then realized he wasn't very good. I don't know. Um, but it's going to be fun watching him. Um, and it's going to be fun watching him win and lose. Uh, just like, kind of like it is watching uh, Broner lose at this point. You know, he's one of those guys, he's entertaining to watch, and you like to see him get beat up. Um, but it, it, it was a fun fight. It, it was a good fight. Uh, I thought he rallied. Took a lot of the late rounds um, and came back. I, I thought he won 6-4. I had Boca Chica winning 6-4, uh, maybe 5-5 five, five draw. But I, I thought, if anything, it, it, it favored uh, Boca Chica. He's tall. He's a, he's aggressive, and he can box off the back back foot. So he can box coming forward and going ba- backwards. Uh, defensively, he's really slap, sloppy. He can be countered, and he can be taken to the body. Look, um... And we've seen him a couple times now. He's 17 fights into his career. So he's not – and how old is he? He's 22. So he's not there yet, and he's got a ways to go. But he's a good fighter. There's skills there. There's tools there. Again, he needs to shore up a lot of things. He's he's really sloppy defensively. He can be taken to the body. Uh, he can be countered. He's aggressive and wild um, when he comes forward. But then he can also box kind of nicely off the back foot. He's got good size uh, for a welterweight. He's five ten. He's he's built pretty. Uh, he's put together pretty well. He's a strong guy. He's athletic. Um, he moves well. He was a lot quicker than Ray is in there today. So he does things well. There's a lot to like about him, but he's also sloppy. And, and Ray is um, look. Boca Chica had a really good amateur career. He's got you know he fought a lot of top guys in the amateurs. Uh, Brian Sabello. Um, Brandon Lee, he beat Charles Conwell, he beat an Olympian. So he's done good things. He's done. He had a good amateur career. He's got a pedigree. Um, Mark Reyes was a good fighter. Uh, Reyes was coming forward. I like to see Reyes again. Uh, no um, disrespect to him. Uh, nothing to hang. Nothing for Reyes to hang his hat head about. Uh, Reyes fought fine. A lot of people scored up for Reyes. I don't think that was inappropriate. A lot of these rounds are hyper hyper close. Where it's what what do you like? Uh, both guys landed a ton of clean shots, especially in the first three rounds. I don't know if you gave any of those rounds uh, to Boca Chica. You probably scored him at Boca Chica. If you gave them all to um, 
Reyes, you probably scored for Reyes, and e either one was fine. Uh, but the card was a good night of boxing. In addition to that, we had a, a, an opening bout with my boy Alejandro Guerrero, uh, pork chop from Irving, now lives in Houston, dropped a real close decision, um, got upset. That's the first loss of his career. Again, Tom Owen, fun fighter, used to be trained um, by Robert Garcia. Now he trains in Houston. Um, offensive friendly, it just takes him too long to get going. I, I thought he did well in the first round, in the second, third, and fourth. It wasn't there for him. Um, he, he finally got going. He picked it up a little bit, five, six, and seven. I scored it a draw. Uh, Glenn Feldman, who I think is the best judge in the sport, also scored it a draw. Um, and I think he gave him those same rounds that I did. But he, he starts too slow and he eats a lot of shots. Um, he, look, he's always going to eat shots. He's come forward, pressure fighter, who's there to be hit. Uh, but he's got a lot of things to shore up. Um, but I, I thought I, I had it the same as Feldman. I had that fight a draw. And then Vladimir Shiskin in. Uh, like a guy we've seen a few times now with the 12 and 0. We've seen him on Showbox a couple of times now. Uh, he's got a win over Ulysses Sierra, DeAndre Ware. We've seen him a few times on Showbox. Good fighter. Not going to sell a ton of tickets. Not the most entertaining fighter in the world. Uh, he's real basic, but high level basic. Jab, jab, right hand. You know, maybe uh, right hand to the body. He's basic, but he's good. He's strong. He's fundamentally sound. He's got some good snap. I, 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 it's hard to win rounds against him. He can win rounds. I'd like to see him fight Eddie Ortiz is what I'd like to see. Um, it's going to be difficult to win rounds against him, but I, I don't know. If you can, this I don't know how he can adapt. He doesn't really left hook. Um, look, there's a lot to like about him. And I think his ceiling is and the season is ceiling is relatively high. I just don't know of his world championship level. Although I think he's a good fighter, he, he can win rounds, so therefore he can win fights. I just don't know if he's going to translate at the highest level because he's not overly athletic. He's not the biggest puncher, although he's got pop. Um, he's basic. He's one two one two. He moves. He's pretty straight up. Um, we'll see how we'll see how it translates. But he's ready to take more steps up. Uh, he's just twelve and zero. He's already 29, so I, I would put him in with a, with a pretty good fighter next time. I, I would look to move him up um, and, and see where he's at. I'd like to see him fight Anthony Durrell. You know, I don't know if that's too a step too far. Um, but someone like that, Porky Medina, if he's still around, give him a good fighter and see how he can handle it. Um, but that showbox card was entertaining today. Really good card. Um, let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Did you watch the card? Are you not interested in Showbox? Card? I always like Showbox. Card. I think they're like the gift uh, it keeps on giving to hardcore. Um, pretty talented fighters who have matched hard early in their career. It's good. Um, follow me all on social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Again, this is Quick Hits. We count you twice a day, eight to ten minute shows. We keep real quick, real brief, just to keep you up to date on the latest uh, in boxing news. Uh, follow me all on social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It is still February 17th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's change that. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.